Now we're going to move into birds. This is going to be class Aves. Class Aves is going to be the first of the kingdom Animalia that we're going to be talking about so far that is going to be warm-blooded. Everything else that we've talked about are ectothermic or cold-blooded, in which the body temperature changes with the environment. But here, the body temperature is going to stay the same, and therefore it needs to have feathers, warm feathers. It needs to maintain that body temperature and stay warm uh, so it doesn't die. And that's the other thing about birds, is that the defining characteristic is it just wings or scales on the body or beak, but it's feathers? No other animals have feathers. Other animals such as insects or bats have wings. Uh, other animals such as reptiles have scales, but no other animal will have feathers. Okay, as we said, birds, the defining characteristic is feathers. Uh, birds do have wings. Uh, not all birds fly, even though they do have wings. They do have a beak uh, for different functions, and they lay eggs, and they have scales on their legs. Now, the ability for flight isn't just uh, feathers or wings. Uh, there's a lot of other uh, structures in the bird's body that aids and helps with the ability to fly, and that is the four-chambered heart uh, to uh, pump blood to the body, to provide the blood flow to the muscles, uh, efficient lungs provide the oxygen to the body cells, but also as it goes higher and lower atmosphere. And also the bones, which are hollow. Birds have a high metabolic rate, meaning they can break down uh, food faster for energy. They are endothermic. They do have a body uh, temperature that is constant. They excrete a semi-solid metabolic waste, which is because it also has a cloaca, just like reptiles and frogs. They do have a developed nervous system the brain, spinal cord, and nerves in the body, and they have excellent vision. Now, some of the feathers that we're going to focus on are the flight feathers, the body feathers, or the semi-plume feathers, and the downy feathers. And as you can see here, the bone is hollow, especially cavities help with uh, flight. The Eiffel Tower was actually designed from the bird bone. You can see right here you have the primaries, the secondaries. The primaries are the outer feathers, uh, the secondary is close to the armpit of the bird. Then you have the coverts on top, closer to the bone and arm of the bird. So you can see a little bit of the, the shape as the flight feather is actually uh, uneven, looking a little bit like uh, the wing of an airplane. And then you can see the structure of the body feather. And the downy feather, of course, is important for warmth for the bird at, because it's warm-blooded. And then we talked about this with the reptile, the amniotic fluid, providing that bumper or protection around the embryo. The allantoic fluid, which is the white of the egg. You do have that airspace. If you guys want to open up an egg, you can actually see the airspace. If you boil an egg, the airspace is there for the baby. Then you have the yolk and then the shell. Now migration is the seasonal movement from animals from one region to another. Uh, usually they will be uh, going to warmer climates because they are endothermic during the winter. Now different birds have different character traits depending on where they live and how they survive. Uh, many birds use their feet for perching, which is sitting on a branch. Some birds will use their uh, feet, which are more webbed, for swimming, while others have talons, which are the sharp claws for grabbing prey. In the same way, not only do their feet have a function, but their beaks have a function. Many birds are known for cracking seeds, and if they're going to crack seeds, they need a very strong, durable, probably thick beak, while other birds may have a pointed, sharp beak for tearing flesh, whether they're a scavenger or a predator. Some birds, like ducks, will have a uh, thin beak for filtering food out of water, while others may have a wide or pointed one uh, for catching insects, and there's many others.